An electronic data processing system is one of several kinds of devices used to keep business records. Using such a system, we can quickly locate bills, orders, personnel files, a number of kinds of records a company may keep. For the most part, an electronic system serves the same purposes as a conventional filing system. The main purposes of any filing system are to enable us to locate records quickly, to keep related records together, and to provide a safe place for records not in use. To accomplish these purposes, file room workers, records assistants, do several jobs known as filing procedures. Three of the most important filing procedures are preparing records for filing, filing records, putting them in proper places in the files, and retrieving records, finding them and removing them from the files. Retrieving is a good place to begin. It acquaints us with the organization of the files. Written requests for filed records are received. Each request arrives at the file room in the form of a requisition card, telling a records assistant all she must know to locate material. Marvin Anderson, of the sales department, requests correspondence. In other words, a letter from Central Construction Company dated March 7 or 8. This letter is needed to help correct errors in an order. To retrieve the letter, the records assistant must know that this firm, like most firms, files correspondence in alphabetical order. In this case, according to names of companies which have sent letters, or to which letters have been sent. Company names beginning with A are found here, B here, C and D here, and so on, to Z. Central construction begins with C. Letters from this company and carbon copies of letters sent to this company are among the Cs. The first letters of Central are CE. Central's correspondence is in here. Projections or tabs at the tops of special cards in the drawer read from front to rear in alphabetical order, like the thumb index of a dictionary. These cards are guides. Guides with tabs at the far left are primary guides. Central Construction Company's file should be behind this primary guide, in a folder bearing the company name. Central is the most important word in this name. It is the primary unit used in filing this correspondence. Primary units help us separate Central Construction's letters from those of Center, Plumbing and Heating, which precede them in the files. Comparing Central Construction with Central Radiator, which follows in the files, we see that the primary units, Central, are the same. To separate records of these two companies, we must look at words of second most importance in each name, secondary units. Radiator, beginning with R, follows construction, beginning with C. So in this case, secondary units are of help. Understanding such alphabetical progressions, she locates the right folder. Now she looks for the requested letter. Incoming letters and carbon copies of outgoing letters are in order of date. The letter was dated March 7 or 8. There is a March 8 letter. She charges it out, making sure it refers to Central Construction's order. To mark its place, she prepares an out card that carries the requisition. The out card, a record of the letter's location, is placed in the file. Sometimes a requisition calls for an entire folder. When the folder is removed, its place is marked with an out folder that has a pocket to hold records filed while the regular folder is out of the drawer. Using out folders and guides and relating information on requisitions to the files, a records assistant quickly retrieves records. As we observe retrieving, we are reminded that the files are well organized. This is mostly the result of another filing procedure, preparing records for filing. The first preparatory step is inspection. 
Here, as in many companies, an incoming letter or the carbon copy of an outgoing letter may not be filed unless it bears a release mark, usually the initials of the person who has released the letter for filing. And each incoming letter must have a date stamp indicating date of receipt. After inspection, the letter is quickly read, then coded. First, the words of the letterhead are separated with slash marks. Then the primary unit, revere, in this letterhead is underscored. It's the word that best distinguishes this company's name from others. The secondary unit, James, helps distinguish this from other reveres in the files. And a third unit, B, separates it from other James reveres. Such marks are coding marks. Like guides in a file cabinet drawer, they help us separate records. This letter refers to business with a company other than Crown Corporation named in the letterhead. Its name is underlined with a wavy line. This name also is divided into units. All, including the first, are numbered, and an X is drawn in the margin. Since the letter concerns business with both companies, it should be filed under both names. In most offices, this is done by cross-referencing. A cross-reference sheet bearing the name of the first heading is placed in the files under the second. Some offices, instead of cross-referencing, copy records on a duplicator and file these copies instead of cross-reference sheets. Duplicating or cross-referencing is done in certain other cases. For example, when one company is known by several names, or when names are so complex that it's hard to distinguish primary and secondary units. After cross-referencing, letters and cross-reference sheets are sorted. They're placed in alphabetical order, ready for procedures that follow. Filing, placing records in the files, comes next. Knowledge of retrieving and preparing makes filing easy to understand. A new letter from Centennial Contractors must be filed. The records assistant finds the proper drawer. She scans the primary guides. Centennial is found under CEN. She checks the section to see if there's a folder for Centennial. There is, and she files the letter in order of date, latest date in front. Later in the day, the March 8 letter from Central Construction, the letter which we saw retrieved, is returned. Records returned to the files are handled somewhat differently from new ones. Finding the proper drawer, guide, and folder, she removes the out card, inserts the letter in its place. Filing a carbon copy of an outgoing letter, she finds no folder. In this company, a folder is assigned only to five or more letters. Letters without folders are arranged alphabetically in miscellaneous folders. One is at the back of each section. There's a lot of correspondence from Crown Corporation. So Crown's records are filed in a number of folders, labeled according to the months letters were received. Once a year, workers in this file room use another filing procedure, transfer. Transfer means moving records that are seldom requested. This company uses the two top drawers of each cabinet for records constantly in use, those less than one year old. The two bottom drawers, indexed exactly like the two above them, contain records one to two years old. Older records, two to seven years old, are packed in transfer boxes sent to a storeroom. Not all companies transfer this way. Some eliminate the lower drawer step, moving older files directly to transfer boxes. Others, especially architects and lawyers' offices, do not transfer once or twice a year, but whenever a job is finished or a case closed. 
So far, we have seen only alphabetical files. However, some companies, including this one, use other filing methods for some or all of their records. For example, this is a numerical file. The cards represent items in the company stockroom. Numbers on the cards correspond to items in the company catalog. To locate files for a particular kind of item, if its number is unknown, a records assistant must consult an alphabetical index. Records of Carlton gas pressure meters are found under this number. Another filing method used for this company's personnel records is a subject file. Its alphabetical but primary guides, accounting, administration, and so on, classify personnel first according to the kinds of work they do. Some firms use subject files for most of their everyday filing, others for executive files. Another kind of file, useful to firms doing business in many locations, is the geographic file. In geographic filing, numerical filing, subject filing, and alphabetical filing, procedures are similar regardless of the equipment used. A kind of equipment often used, for example, by hospitals, is open shelf files. Some architects and engineers keep microfilm files of their drawings and plans. The small pictures take very little space and can be enlarged when needed. Some companies use a similar film process for all their everyday correspondence. Whenever a record is requested, the microfilm is placed in a printer. The result is an enlargement that is a duplicate of the original record. Large insurance companies and credit bureaus often use elevator files, sometimes along with electronic systems. Electronic systems aid in handling large quantities of records. But whatever system or equipment is used, all industries and businesses must keep records. All must apply filing procedures to quickly locate records, to keep related materials together, and to provide a safe place for all records.